Texas has been under the spotlight for weeks now because of its dispute with the Biden administration over how to handle the influx of migrants at the southern border. But new data shows that the flow of migrants crossing into the U.S. illegally has largely shifted away from Texas. According to internal, uh, internal federal government figures, 60% of all unlawful border crossings are now being recorded in Arizona and California. For the week ending February 4th, Border Patrol averaged more than 1,800 daily migrant apprehensions in the Tucson sector and more than 1,200 in the San Diego sector. Meanwhile, the El Paso and Rio Grande Valley sectors respectively averaged between 500 and 800 daily apprehensions. The Del Rio sector recorded as few as 200 each day. CBS News immigration and politics reporter Camila Montego Gavez is here with us in Studio 57. You were just there at Eagle Pass, so I want to start there. Let's talk about the news that Texas governor uh, is trying to put more razor wire, more agents there, more, more of all of these things that the federal government has told him he needs to stop doing. What can you tell us about what's happening? Hey, Lana, Elaine, as you just mentioned, I just returned from Eagle Pass, Texas. This border town has been effectively fortified by the Texas National Guard with razor wire and concertina wire, shipping containers and other barriers meant to impede the passage of migrants trying to cross into the U.S. illegally. It essentially looks like a combat zone because of all of these troops and razor wire and other barriers impeding the passage of migrants. Now the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, is saying that he will expand this operation to other parts of Texas to deter illegal crossings. And it's important to note that this area has not just been sealed off to migrants, it is also now preventing federal Border Patrol agents from processing migrants there because Texas argues that that incentivizes more illegal immigration. The Department of Homeland Security is saying that this is preventing Border Patrol from doing its job, but Texas is arguing that it is defending itself from a quote-unquote invasion. That is the term that Governor Abbott is using to describe the situation. We obviously have to underscore that there is no military offensive being waged along the border and that most of these migrants are not serious criminals and they're certainly not armed. But obviously illegal crossings are at record levels. So it's interesting because even as all of this activity is taking place along the border in Texas, we're also seeing, as Lana mentioned a moment ago, a shift of migrants away That's right. from Texas. So what is behind that? Are these um, increased activities perhaps having a, a deterring effect? Well, as Lana just mentioned, 60 percent of all unlawful border crossings are now happening in Arizona and California. That is a dramatic shift because Texas was one of the epicenters during this crisis level situation in December when over 300,000 migrants were processed in 31 days, a record high. That has changed dramatically. Governor Abbott will certainly take credit for this, saying that his razor wire, the shipping containers, and the other barriers are having a meaningful impact in deterring migrants. But it is also important to note that the Mexican government has recently, recently ramped up enforcement in the interior of Mexico, deporting more, more migrants to southern Mexico to the southern state of Chiapas and also slowing down U.S. bound migration. So it is a confluence of factors, not just one. Okay, because I want to ask you about that because there's so much rhetoric uh, and we we did have a record high um, back in December, but right. now these numbers are plummeting. Overall, illegal crossings uh, are, are really down this By 50 percent, yeah. By 50 percent, right. and not just in Texas, but uh, across, across the, the board. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Well, one reason is the increased Mexican enforcement. Again, officials near Texas are now, in Mexico, are now deporting migrants to southern Mexico to deter them from crossing into the U.S. illegally. That happened after the Biden administration dispatched several top officials, including Secretary Mayorkas, to Mexico City after the holidays. It is also important to note that historically, migration always slows down after the holidays in January and February. But obviously, officials are still bracing for another crisis because those numbers typically go back up in the spring in March, and we're already seeing them go back up right now in February. So it sounds like some of it is public policy, but some of it is also just That's right. cyclical. Yeah. All right. Camillo, thank you. Of course.